If you were looking for a fun and super easy miniature project, well, today's your lucky day. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I'm Stella, and I love making miniatures for my Barbie's dollhouse using mainly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature armchair for your dolls. And as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the load link in the video, so now let's get started. Tap this part of the template 4 or 5 times and stack all these layers together. The resulting piece should measure around 3mm in thickness and, as usual, I suggest using cardstock from old packagings for this. Repeat this step to make another identical piece, then cut this part 3 or 4 times and glue all the layers together. Repeat the same process to make two additional pieces, all approximately 2mm thick. At this point, we should have all these elements. Cover them with a coat of acrylic gesso on all sides, including the edges, to give them a more textured surface. Then paint them with a light shade of brown acrylic. And to mimic the look of wood grain, paint some faint stripes with a darker brown color. I find that the easiest way to do this is using an old wispy brush like this, barely dipped in the paint. Lastly, I coated everything with a gloss varnish, however, I kinda regretted doing it at this moment since it made assembling the pieces a little more difficult. So my suggestion is to wait to varnish them until after they are assembled. Now that the legs are done, we can begin working on the seat of our little armchair. Tap this part 4 or 5 times and attach all the layers together. Then cut this and glue the three elements on top of the ones we've just put together. The final piece should be approximately 4mm thick. Next, cut this part a few times and once again stack all the layers together until you have a piece that's around 4mm in thickness. We'll have to make two of these. Repeat the same process for these parts and for these, which we'll have to make twice. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. Cover all these elements with a coat of acrylic gesso. And just like we did earlier, use two shades of brown acrylic paint to achieve a wood-like effect. And here's a little trick. Cardstock can bend slightly when painted. To prevent this, sandwich the painted pieces between parchment paper, place them under a book and something heavy like a small dumbbell. I like to leave them for a day or at the very least overnight. This not only straighten the cardstock, but the parchment paper absorbs all the humidity, preventing it from bending over time. Now, at this point, we should have all these parts ready. Assemble them in this order, and if you're working with a slow drying adhesive like the one I have, I recommend propping the pieces against the support to hold them in place while the glue sets. To mimic the bamboo cane pattern on the chair's seat, we're gonna need some twine. Begin by cutting the twine into several pieces and attach them to the seat. I found that the most efficient way to do this is to first glue all the twine pieces to the center of the seat and then progress to the left and right sides, securing the twine in rows. I would advise using a quick dry adhesive like super glue for this step. Oh, and as always, you can find a short list of all the supplies I used for this project in the description box. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I did kind of a sloppy job with the twine, especially right here where the two ends meet, so I decided to glue another piece of twine over those points for a more seamless look. And then I added five more twine pieces so that the cane's pattern would appear a little more symmetrical. Once the twine is in place and we're happy with how it looks, we can color it with the same shade of light brown acrylic paint we used for the base. Coat everything with a gloss varnish. And we should end up with this. Next, we're gonna need some sewing thread in a light brown color. Tie it around the bamboo canes this way. I suggest using a needle for this. Now that both the seat and legs are ready, we can attach them together. 
and our miniature armchair is ready. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. And if you were looking for a different type of chair for your dolls, you may want to watch this video next. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!